everyone, I am Alexa Dunn, a traditionally published author, and this is AuthorTube Bootcamp, where I share tips and tricks with you on how to start your own AuthorTube channel on YouTube. This video is all about essential equipment for starting your channel, and of course this is applicable to any kind of YouTube channel, not just AuthorTubes. We all have to use the same things to film and edit. I'm going to go over five essential pieces of equipment and one that is semi-essential but kind of optional when you're starting out depending on what you want to do. So the first thing that is obviously essential is your camera. You don't have to break the bank starting your channel, especially when it comes to your camera, which of course can be the most expensive piece of equipment you need to film. But if you have a smartphone, these things now come with really good cameras. So if you already have an Android, this is a Pixel or a Samsung Galaxy or any newer model iPhone, you can record using your phone. The first six months I had my channel, I recorded everything on my Pixel, which I also still use as my vlogging camera. Phone cameras tend to film in 1080p, which is very good. There can sometimes be some distortion on the lens, but nothing that's crazy noticeable to a viewer. Another option is to use a webcam, but I would purchase a special one because the built-in ones aren't as good, especially when it comes to lighting. But for $100, you can pick up an HD webcam. I recommend the Logitech one. I have purchased that for myself for doing chats and Skype visits. It's a good investment if you want to sit in front of your computer and record your content. The next category of camera option is a point and shoot or a vlogging camera. These are going to run anywhere between like $300 and $600 or $700, so it's by no means a you know low cost investment, but it can be a really good camera option for you in the short term, especially if you don't want to record using your phone or you don't have a phone with a fancy camera. While I don't have one of these, I did do a little bit of research. Popular point and shoot or vlogging cameras for YouTubers include Canon PowerShot, which is in the $500 range, a Panasonic Lumix, which is also in the $500 range, or in the budget range, you can look at a Sony vlogging camera, which is in the $350 plus range. Another tip here, because camera companies are always coming up with new models, is you can always buy one or two models a bit older, used, and so on, and save a bit of money and still get a very good camera. And then the last category is, of course, the fancy camera. I film with a Canon T6i, and if you look at my videos, this explains the jump in quality last November. I bought myself one of these on Black Friday. So on sale, I got a kit including my camera and my microphone for $750. That was on Black Friday, and I did time it so that I could get the best deal possible. Typically, these cameras are going to cost you $900 and up, and they do scale widely. So the Canon EOS T series is considered on the lower end of fancy camera. You can spend thousands of dollars on a really nice camera. A really popular one among fancy YouTubers is the Canon 80D. You'll see that one thrown around a lot, but it is quite pricey. My advice on cameras when it comes to fancy cameras is not to invest in one of these unless you are fully committed to your YouTube channel and you know you're in it for the long term. I didn't buy this camera until I knew that I was in it to win it on my YouTube channel. So that's what I advise you do. Use other things like your phone camera or a webcam or the point and shoot options as I mentioned when you were just starting out. The second essential piece of equipment is a tripod. You need something to put your camera on. And honestly, I bought one from Amazon Basics for $15. I'm still using it and I have no regrets. That's a simple recommendation. You don't need a fancy tripod. Just get one from Amazon Basics. And then if you are using your phone, you're going to need a special mount for your camera phone. Again, they're not even $10. They mount to your tripod. And I will link you down below to my recommendation that I bought for my phone. And then optionally, you can have a smaller tripod, a mini tripod, if you're ever going to be setting your camera on a table or if you want to use it for vlogging. Again, you can get those for like 10 bucks on amazon.com. Three, I actually consider this the most important piece of equipment beyond your camera, and that is lighting. Good lighting can make or break a channel, and it can make the difference between you looking 
amateurish and super professional and it doesn't even cost that much to get a pretty good lighting setup. My recommendation for kind of entry level is to get yourself a soft kit. I got a kit for $80 which included two and I've only ever used one of them so you can actually buy them singly for about $40. Another option that is more expensive but very prevalent on YouTube is a ring light. That's going to cost you more than $200 and again, much like the camera, I wouldn't necessarily invest in that unless you know you're going to do YouTube and you really want that kind of lighting. As you can see, my soft kit is providing full flooded lighting for the whole frame, which is really all you need for booktube or author tube. If this were beauty tube, it might be a little different if I needed to illuminate just my face, but yeah, soft kit is my recommendation. The fourth essential piece of equipment is editing software. You need to be able to edit your videos because no one likes unedited content on a YouTube channel because as humans we tend to ramble and take pauses and you should be editing out those things in your video so they feel snappy and more natural. They feel natural even though you're cutting out the natural thing like pauses and ums and likes. The good news for you Mac users, which is not me, but if you have a Mac, you have software that comes with your computer that you can use. iMovie is perfect for editing videos and you already have it. So Mac users, you can use iMovie. Or if you're a Mac user and want to upgrade, you can invest in Final Cut Pro, which is about $300. But then if you're a PC user, you are gonna have to have a little bit more of an initial investment because our computers don't come with particularly good software by default that we can use for editing videos. I use Pinnacle Studio. I also know some people who use Magix. The price point for these is kind of in the $70 to $100 range and it is an investment that you need to make in your channel, but it is totally worth it because you want a software that can do a good amount of things in terms of, you know, cuts and layering in titles and music and so on. The fifth essential tool for starting your channel is graphic design software. This is one that you can find free resources for. I highly recommend Canva, but many people use PicMonkey, though now PicMonkey charges, but it's been a favorite among YouTubers for many, many years, so you might want to check it out. If you have knowledge of Photoshop and you have Photoshop, you can also use Photoshop. And this is to create your thumbnails for your videos. You want thumbnails that are well lit and enticing with big legible fonts saying what the video is about. People tend to look at your thumbnail first and then your title second. So you wanna use thumbnails to draw people into your videos. So you're going to have to create something somewhere. The YouTube default thumbnails, you don't want some random shot from your video where your face is like, because seriously, they always screenshot the worst part. So you want to create attractive looking thumbnails. Try Canva for free, PicMonkey for a small fee, or Photoshop if you have it and you know how to use it. I create my thumbnails in Photoshop personally, but I do subscribe to Canva Pro, which is the paid version of Canva, uh, for other author promotional tools, and I highly recommend that service in particular. You can also use it to create your channel art, which you are going to want to do for your channel. And finally, the sixth semi-essential piece of equipment, depending on your setup with everything else, is a microphone. Your camera might have a perfectly good built-in microphone, and especially if you're just starting out and you're using your camera phone or a point-and-shoot, that is going to be perfectly sufficient. Most of those have pretty good built-in microphones. You're only going to want to or need to invest in a microphone if your camera doesn't have a built-in microphone or you want to just upgrade your sound. And much like investing in the camera or investing in something like Final Cut Pro, I wouldn't do it unless you're like all in on your channel. But when you're first starting out, you don't necessarily have to invest in a microphone. The kit that I bought with my camera, the $750 one, came with a lightweight Rode microphone, which I do use with my camera. I will say I like having the microphone upgrade, but it's not a 100% essential when you're first starting out. So that's it. That is some of the essential equipment you need to start your channel. Check below for links to a lot of the things that I recommend picking up, including the things that I use for my channel starting out or now. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions about equipment for starting a YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will make more videos in the Author 2 Bootcamp series. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I post new videos two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching and happy YouTubing everyone.